Hey, what's going on, babies? Thank you so much for tuning in. So, of course, I'm getting ready to bring you your energy update for today, okay? So, as we know, right, I got three cards that are already laid, right? This um, attachment card is in the reverse. The indecision card is in the reverse. And the storm warning card is in the upright position, but it's in the um, future position, okay? So, how I'm seeing it, right, if you haven't checked out my readings, um... I think it was two days ago I did it. All right, so you're going to find it on my YouTube and you can find it on my TikTok. It's literally called Storm Wanted. I got it on my Instagram too, y'all, like Facebook too, right? Because that was hidden. Now, with the storm, I see it as it's moving out, okay? Why? Because whatever the habit or pattern or behavior you may have had or unhealthy attachment you released that. It's like you chose a healthier option at hand, right? And that was the choice that you had to make with this indecision card in the reverse. So instead of you deciding to be caught up in that unhealthy pattern or mindset, you decided, you know what? I know I'm enough, right? Because I see the Empress card. Look, and look at the, look what's at the bottom of the deck, the Empress. I know I'm enough. You're very self-aware, Okay. And you know, right, you operated completely in Empress energy is how I'm seeing it. So kudos to you, right? Because guess what? The storm is leaving now, all right? You made the right choice. That's all it was. It wasn't about you letting go of a person or a situation. The choice that you had to decide to make was to let go of the unhealthy attachment, the codependencies, the patterns, the habits, the behaviors. That's what keeps us stuck. It's a force of habit, right? So, anything else? You made a self-honoring choice. Thank you. Nine of Wands in the reverse. So instead of you giving up, you stood your ground. You stayed resilient. You were exhausted. Yesterday, you made, look, 10-10, you made have been extremely exhausted but you kept fighting okay i'm hearing the cycle is closed tell me about it eight of wands all right so things is getting ready to pick up for you wow so, yeah, you may get extremely busy um, or you may start to see some, you know, immediate results or progress or something here with whatever it is that you're working on. I feel like you see something here. I feel like I want to pull from this Ascension deck. It's a Twin Flame Ascension deck, but it could be used for collective too as well. But if it comes out and speaks about a twin, then, hey, guess what? I'm talking to, them, to my twins. Show me what I need to see here. Because, of course, when you make the right decision and you align with your higher self, guess what? You pass another level. So let's see. Heart, higher heart opening. Compassion. Okay? Let me read that to y'all. 11-11. 10-11. 8 11, 11 a.m. here. All right? So let me see. Mm -mm. Higher heart opening. Compassion. And it's on page 100. All right. So. Igniting your higher heart chakras activates your ability to embody the highest dimensions of unconditional love, which is compassion. Aligning with the heart of the universe allows you to experience expanded states of internal love. This requires that you heal your heart by letting go of judgment that created separation between you and your desires. This card implies that. You are hiding from your emotions or you have numbed your ability to fully express your emotional range. When you avoid feelings such as rejection, pain or sorrow, it also blocks your capacity to experience higher emotional dimensions. Honoring all of your emotions gives you permission to express your vulnerability so that you can embrace your journey with grace. I feel like that's what you did. OK, you honored all of your emotions about this situation with your storm. You fully expressed 
your emotional ranges from the rejection, from the pain, from the sorrow. It's like you broke it down. You went deep within. You you found out what the root or the source of the problem was for you, why you were triggered by this storm, which activated your higher heart chakra. You operated in unconditional love. So whoever brought the storm on and triggered you, you still kept your heart open to the situation where normally you may have shut yourself down, right? It says here, seeing the gift in your lessons is a way to honor your feelings, giving your permission, giving you permission to be yourself. This card encourages you to stop judging your emotions or sabotaging your actions by paying attention to your needs. This, this path teaches you to accept the range of polarity between sorrow and joy. Finding forgiveness and acceptance will accelerate your journey to the heart and engender more compassion for yourself and others. Okay, so, um, yeah, you saw the gift in your lesson and you honored your feelings. You gave yourself permission to be yourself. Okay, and that's what's key. All right, and this is what's helping this storm to move on by. All right, so let me see if I got anything else that's going to come out of that. That's it. That's a, a, a major congratulations because, you know, you are experiencing a lot of heartbreak, three of swords. It's a lot of grief around this situation. Definitely third party type energy. There's a lot of pain, okay, that you have you have been experiencing here. Um, not just in this situation, but in your in your life, period. It's like you got a lot of adversity, um, opposition, all types of stuff. I got the seven of wands that came out, okay, but you've always been protected, all right. Even if you don't feel like you are, yeah, source God has you in this bubble. Nothing can penetrate that, okay. And even though these darts and these arrows seem to keep coming at you, you still stay. And when I see her, I see her like in a meditative state. It's like you're still finding ways to ground yourself and to maintain your inner calm, um, which can be a struggle, you know, but I feel like you did a good thing with balancing, okay? Balancing your energies, if you were triggered, if your your mind said something like negative, you reversed it. I feel like you may have went out and, you know, did some stuff for yourself to make you feel better. You you nurtured your inner child. OK, if you haven't done any of these things that I, I'm speaking of, I'm telling you, that's what you need to do. OK, the justice card comes out. Yeah. So it came to a point where somebody had to be judged for their actions. For their wrongdoings from their past choices all right this was universal law this was the law of cause and effect and it had to happen in order to balance this out for you to get your justice okay how does the uh person on the other end of this feel it's like they're at a standstill or stalemate at this moment queen of wands comes out show me what i need to see how do they feel oh golly the devil card fell out. So somebody could have went into their devil energy. And they're triggered because, and how I'm seeing it, they're triggered because of something that may have happened in their situation. So you guys may have triggered each other. Yeah. Are they aware? They haven't really communicated. King of Cups comes out too when I seen the Page of Swords, which is right behind it. Wow. They aren't really communicating. They're just watching. Because that did like, yeah, they were triggered by it. I don't, they don't have anything. Why aren't they communicating? Why aren't they saying anything? they don't know what to say ace of wands in the reverse they don't have any clarity about it they're not clear about what to say in regards to whatever happened 
They're still in an upright position, that King of Cups energy, just like you came out as a Queen of Cups. So you guys are still marrying that same unconditional love to each other, but they just don't really have the clarity right now about what to say. So you know what? Stay tuned.